Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to Microsoft, they are planning to end support, as I've mentioned previously, for Windows 10 on the 14th of October 2025. And... Although we've got just under two years uh, before October of 2025 when Windows 10 reaches its end of life, according to Microsoft, as I've mentioned previously, I personally don't think Microsoft will end support for Windows 10 uh, in 2025 due to the fact, first of all, that um, it's, there's just too much market share attached still currently to Windows 10. It is by far the most uh, dominant out of the Windows OSs currently. And it's currently in the 60% when it comes to market share, almost hitting 70%. So um, I don't really think that Microsoft will want to lose all that market share. But nonetheless, another reason, as I've mentioned, why Microsoft uh, may not end support for Windows 10 uh, in two years is because they are starting to introduce a couple of the so-called Windows 11 features into the OS. And that's with our next optional bug fix update the November optional bug fix update that's rolling out, if not this week, I would say starting next week, Tuesday. So that's going to be rolling out over the next couple of days. And um, as I've mentioned previously, for Windows 10, we are going to be getting uh, the Copilot, which brings centralized AI to the Windows 10 desktop, which will at first be on a controlled rollout, but nonetheless, it is a Windows 11 feature that's going to be coming to Windows 10. We're also going to be getting the windows 11 toggle on the windows update page get the latest updates as soon as they are available so that's another windows uh, 11 feature that's coming to windows 10 and just a little subtle difference where uh, microsoft with that update is going to um, make the news and interests feed fly out um, a bit larger so it's going to take on a more kind of news and widget board feed feel um, in Windows 10. So there's a couple of adjustments that Microsoft is suddenly um, making to Windows 10. So that's another reason why I've posted previously that I don't think they will personally end support because now they are starting to focus once again on adding new features to Windows 10. Now, another one of these, um, although it's an under the hood feature and mainly um, focusing um, at system administrators, um, according to a recent announcement uh, by Microsoft uh, a couple of days ago, they say that you will soon be able to automatically deploy optional Windows updates and or enable users in your organization to get them on Windows 10 just like on Windows 11. So basically, this is a policy that will be available for Windows Update for business customers as part of the November 2023 optional update, which is going to be rolling out. Uh, for Windows 10, which as mentioned is KB5032278. And by the way, that video I did post on that optional update, which is currently in preview, will be down in the description. So as mentioned, although this is a admin um, business customer feature, it does indicate that Microsoft once again is focusing more on Windows 10 again, where for a long time there were no new features really coming into Windows 10. Um, just little tweaks and adjustments. So this is yet another Windows 11 feature that Microsoft is introducing. Now, as many of you may know, optional updates are part of the regular device maintenance that include non-security bug fix updates. So um, with the enable updates policy, and this is just a, a screenshot of what this is all about in the group policy editor, uh, with the enable optional updates policy, Microsoft says that admins can control the timing and the specifics of different types of optional updates. So if you enable this policy, you can select how optional updates are made available to users within your organization. And here we can see the three options uh, include, and if we just head over to the screenshot here, we can see the first is automatically receive optional updates, including CFRs. The second is automatically receive optional updates. And then the third, users can select which optional updates to receive. So as mentioned, this is a policy that has been around um, since August uh, in Windows 11. So just another indication that it doesn't seem that Microsoft is quite finished uh, with Windows 10 because now this is yet another Windows 11 feature. Although it's an under the hood feature, it's yet another Windows 11 feature now that Microsoft is bringing over to Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.